you know, we've got this hybrid and electric car community out there now, uh, lithium ion batteries, nickel metal hydride batteries, and we really need to address those. And as a matter of fact, here comes one now. The shutdown procedure for the Chevy Volt is to pick up the armrest in between the two front seats and remove the inner liner and move the little bag off of the master disconnect. Then with your glove on, we'll press the release tab and remove the master disconnect. Be sure to wait about five minutes to give the capacitors in the inverter time to discharge before you do any further diagnostics or repair. Well, then we've got the vehicle shut down, we've got the master disconnect out, and on the dashboard where we can keep an eye on it. You bet. And I've got the inverter cover off for you, um, and we don't need our high voltage gloves anymore because that's shut down, so what's our next step? Our next step is actually to make the interconnect with the battery cable the directly, that goes directly into the inverter from the main battery. So I've got a 10 millimeter wrench, I'm going to go ahead and start to remove that bolt right now to get that unplugged. There we go. We pull this out, bring it up to the front. Okay, I've got the high voltage cable from the uh, hybrid battery that plugs into the inverter. I've got it removed. Jim, why don't I go ahead and have you plug in the high voltage interface module and get it tightened up for me. And I'll need the wrench. All right, Dan, what's next? Okay, the high voltage interface has been connected. Now we'll take this cable with the CAT3 connectors, plug it directly in the diffused interface box. Once that's complete... And these are diffusers? That's correct, okay. the 372-volt uh, DC. Now we'll take the high voltage interface cable, plug it into here. That completes our high voltage interface to the battery. Now all we have to worry about is the control side of it. So we'll look at the low voltage stuff through the VIM, the vehicle interface module. Let's go around the side of the car and look at that right now. We've got the vehicle interface module here and we're going to disconnect the two control cables from the vehicle battery control module, bring them forward and install them. They're color coded, blue to the blue, gray to the gray, just like it says on the screen. Then we'll latch them in place. This is the cable that goes directly to the control box and these are all the all the options that we've got to connect to inside the battery pack. So this connector just goes in like that. Now we're connected to the discharge box. We're good to go. Now to reinstall the service plug or sometimes called the master disconnect, we simply put it down over its receptacle, push it down to engage the lock, put the protective cover over it, reinstall the inner liner to the armrest, and we're done. Okay, now that we've got the high voltage and low voltage connections made to this 2011 volt, uh, we'll take the unit that's been programmed for General Motors. It's the EL50332 uh, version of the GRX5100. We're going to take and just go through the manual. What we're going to start with is just an opportunity to depower. We're going to take a look at some of the energy that's available in the battery right now. So it's all menu driven and uh, some of the self checks take a long time because it is a very complex battery system. All the handshakes have to take place before the unit's going to take any energy in or out of that battery. So let's go ahead and just start with the menu. Okay, the screen has D power. I'm going to select that. I'll select Chevrolet, select Volt, doing the self test, internal self test. I can't stress how important this is to make sure that all the systems, because we're dealing with high voltage, everything is connected properly and that the safety aspect is in place. But we're going to go ahead, we're on the entire pack. We'll hit next. And uh, this is the interface, we're at the in inverter module, that's correct. And it is on the, the hybrid power side, hybrid powertrain. Uh, we're going to, I said we were going to do a discharge. We've got a target voltage of 280 volts, I simply hit next. And then it tells you, it really at this point is when the, the software tells you how to make the connections. Uh, to save a little bit of time, we made the connections in advance. We'll go through and see what the screen says each time and just continue with the prompts. This is to go ahead and connect the, at the inverter which you've already done. Then to go back and connect the black cable, the low voltage sign, through the VIM, the vehicle interface module. 
and then install the manual service disconnect again which I've already taken care of we hit next and it's detecting the pack so here we go it's finishing it's doing the USB drive in other words it's writing to the drive already any test that's taken place in this tool uh, the information all gets logged that includes the VIN number for the vehicle and the battery number both of them have unique IDs so if there were ever any exchange between the battery and the, and the chassis they would have that information and right now here we go we're discharging at seven and a half amps we started out at two, uh, 373 volts we're going to go down to 280 volts when this is all done it will stop if there were ever a problem that the operator encountered for any other reason we would have the option of simply terminating the operation that disconnects everything with that with that unit and then it points it out here it's writing it to the USB drive and you get the signal that the operation has been terminated okay we've just completed testing this Chevy Volt with the GM specified EL50332 this is actually a chassis that's part of a family of products that are being developed for the high voltage industry for the high voltage uh, vehicle industry so let's go ahead and shut this down and after the operation Jim what did you think of that Dan this was just awesome all this technology and we can still tackle these types of projects in our shops thank you so much for showing us this well what we have to do is disconnect all the electrical connections and put the car back together and we'll get this one on the road mm -hmm.